Hello again. I'm not sure if a previous short vi video posted because we had a little bit of a technical glitch and a couple <laughs> of dogs who were freaking out yeah. that we had to um, lull with some peanut butter. So <laughs> the joys of going live. Yeah. So we're back. So we're going to start from the beginning. Um, <clears throat> and I was saying that last night we watched uh, the first episode of Queer Eye, which uh, the latest season is out on Netflix, and it was such a wonderful. Um, it's always a warm and you know warm and fuzzy affirming um, show, which celebrates individuals and uh, encourages them. And um, the first episode of this season is a pastor Noah Hepler, um, who was the the target of their uh, um, what would you makeover? call their makeover? Yeah, the life life um, life boost. Um, <laughs> and uh, it got us talking about. Um, well, one of the one of the things was that he came out late. He was he was raised in a conservative church and couldn't accept himself, and and certainly his his church um, couldn't affect um, couldn't accept him. And so it's the process of him coming to realize that God wanted him to be where he was as the person he is to be able to do the best possible work. So uh, we've been thinking about that since then, and uh, wanted to offer a few thoughts. So. A passage that uh, Reverend Megan Rohr mentioned, um, because she was also featured um, <clears throat> in the story, was uh, the greatest commandments. And this is from Matthew chapter 22. Um, and it reads, One of them was an expert in the Jewish law, so he tried to test Jesus by asking, Teacher, what is the most important commandment in the law? Jesus answered, Love the Lord your God with all your heart, soul, and mind. This is the first and most important commandment. The second most important commandment is like this one, and it is, love others as much as you love yourself. All the law of Moses and the books of the prophets are based on these two commandments. So this is a favorite um, of Diane's in particular, and she's, she's uh, had talked to me a lot about them, and I, we thought it'd be a good idea for her to kind of share some of those thoughts with you guys today. One of the things I like about Queer Eye and shows like it, it often leads to really good conversations on the couch with my beloved. And one of our favorite conversations is about these two commandments because I truly believe they are three. Uh, with the, the first two you all know because they've been kind of ingrained in you if you went to Sunday school or church. And the third one is the way it says, love your neighbor as yourself. I truly believe that God wants you to love yourself because that's that's the jumping off point that's the springboard to being able to love anything or anyone and what I particularly liked about watching Queer Eye last night was when he felt when Noah felt guilty about not coming out soon enough and Megan was was very encouraging and and she knew that he did it when he he was ready and and he was able to now, he's able now, because of all this encouragement, it looked as though he's going to enter into being more of who God created him to be, to fully blossom into who he is, and that will help him be able to be used in the LGBTQ Christian community. Um, I believe that's what happened with us, and I believe that we often are fighting, who should we be? Should we be like Jane Doe down the street, or, or John, or who should we be like? And God made each one of us unique, because God wants us to be what we are, and, and finding who you are and discovering that and becoming it is a blossoming. It's a gift to the world. It's a gift to God. It's a, you know, God, I'm sure, dances the more you enter into being yourself. And uh, we pray that, that you can do that. And we pray that this gives you some encouragement because uh, there's nobody else like you. And there's mm -hmm. a reason there's nobody else like you because you are uniquely, beautifully, wonderfully made by a God that loves you. They want you to dance into that. They want you to enter into that. And Suzanne and I pray that you can enter into that. Uh, that's, that's what we try to do every day, is to fully be ourselves. It's tough. It's tough in a world that tells you not to be this, that, or the other, but to be what they want you to be. Don't do it. Don't fall for it. Be yourselves. You have any thoughts, love? Yeah, so... It, this is a topic that we've been talking about personally for ourselves. You know, since we've gotten together, it's been an exploration of um, what it means to be fully me or fully Diane, and how does that manifest? Manifest, and how do you cast off all the stuff that you um, accrue over the course of a lifetime that um, 
is 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 barriers to that authenticity mm -hmm. and um, almost shields or or um, costumes really that we play. Um, and so we're trying to figure that out for ourselves. And it, w one of the things that really struck me last night was how grateful I am for people like Reverend um, Megan and the bishop who was there, I don't remember his name, and for um, Reverend Noah, who are stepping into this work. When we first, um, when we came together 11 or so years ago, and um, began exploring the scriptures and trying to figure out what God was doing in putting um, these two, you know, Christian conservatives together, <laughs> who didn't ha didn't understand why, you know, to how it could be okay for us to be a couple. Um, you know, I wrote my first devotional, and um, there weren't that many. There still weren't that many contemporary books out there. There were some from the previous uh, eras, uh, previous decades, and there were a few on the market from Matthew Vines, and um, you know, th there were some. But since then, there's been this blossoming of work, and it's heartening to, um, to us to, mm -hmm. to see how many people are on the dance floor willing to speak. All these Christians rising up, <laughs> saying yeah, that you are you are just as God created you. You are beautiful, um, and that the most powerfully uh, any device, um, any invention, any piece of art is the most effective and accomplishes the most when it is operating as its true self. So. God can use you the most powerfully, the more that you are fully as God designed you. Mm -hmm. So you go be you and shine the particular <laughs> light that God created you to be, okay? We love you. Mwah. Mwah. And uh, God bless you and stay <laughs> safe and um, have some joy today. Please, um, please may the, may the Holy Spirit pour down joy into your hearts. Amen. Take care. We'll see you tomorrow. And happy Pride Month. <laughs>